Well, this is the first stage of a protest that's brought hundreds of Sudanese nationals onto the streets of London. Here we're outside the United Arab Emirates Embassy. That's one of the governments that the protesters accuse of propping up the military rulers in Khartoum. There's a lot of anger, but there's also a lot of solidarity being expressed. They fear going out of their own homes because they fear of assassinations. They fear of being killed by snipers. The women fear rape as it happened uh, on the last day of Ramadan. If UAE and Saudi Arabia are donating $3 billion to the military council and to Junta and to the Janjaweed and their militias, and these are the people now standing against the will of the people. Well, during the protest, we got the news that the chief prosecutor in Sudan had announced former President al-Bashir was to stand trial and cases were being opened against dozens of other former government officials. So we took the chance to ask some people here what they made of that. But they are not the right people to charge over al-Bashir. They even committed another crime similar to what was over al-Bashir doing. So that is, for me, just nonsense. Those is this liar, they never do anything. The Al-Bashir now is safe, no any serious, like, serious action taken against him. Well, after passing by the Egyptian embassy, the protesters have now ended up outside the embassy of Saudi Arabia, another country that they're calling on to stop supporting those in power in Khartoum. And while back home, there's a crackdown on protests. These people see it as their responsibility to carry on what they're calling their revolution.